guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and we've got some more news on JP. Um, they just got their celebration info, and there is um, a lot more than what I put in my last video. So there's going to be like 10 ECAs in this celebration they're getting, and this is just like a filler celebration. So like, Dokkan has just been going like really crazy since the JP six year anniversary, and honestly it's probably because like the pandemic slowed them down so much and now they're going at the pace that they really want to or they're adding extra to catch up on material they couldn't do because of the pandemic but it's been awesome because like ezas are my favorite thing of dokkan so i did a video yesterday talking about um the new super vegeta and some of the new units coming so i'm just gonna like show those really quick i'm not gonna go through their stuff in detail if you want to see that um, look at my other video that I just posted yesterday. So basically, we've got the Cell Celebration coming out of nowhere, the Cell Saga Celebration. So we've got this Super Vegeta who, honestly, he's going to be one of the best units in the game. He might even be the best TUR. He has one of the best leader skills in the game, and he does things that other units just can't do. He's crazy. He's almost a must-pull. Like, it's he's, he's insane. So I'm really hyped for this Vegeta. Um... Then we've got this second form cell, which is a really good complementary support type unit. And then we've got easy A's for this yard rat Goku, which I went over in my video yesterday. So if you want to see his info, look at my video from yesterday. And then we've got um, this Krillin and 18 card right here, if it wants to zoom down a little bit. So this Krillin 18 card, who's now like still a really good support, but now she has some defense and offense to back her up, right? So those were the cards I talked about yesterday. Now we've got info on even more easy A's and things coming out. So, oh, sorry. And we have this Gohan also, sorry. Prime Battle Gohan. Let me finish going through the stuff from yesterday. Okay. And then Prime Battle Gohan was the other one. But this was the big news. So they got, um, in JP, they got a news update. And on some of the event info, and we are getting an easy A for LR Majin Vegeta. I'm really hype about this, and um, I've actually been link leveling him. Um, I've been link leveling him in preparation for this, um, just because I knew he was due to get his um, easy A fairly soon. So I've got my Majin Vegeta rainbowed, and so whenever he comes out on global, I will be ready to have a level 10 links video showcase on him. We do not know his easy A info yet. All we know for sure is that he's AGL uh, key plus four and HP attack and defense 120 for the leader skill, which isn't anything too crazy, right? But what we know from his kit, we can't really predict 100% what they're going to do. Because his, his pass is very simple. It's just attack plus 150 when performing a super. They're for sure going to give him defense. So they could maybe give him 100% defense at start of turn and maybe some attack. And then they could give him more defense and attack on super. They might just make him simple and do 150% attack and defense on super. They might add something else in there. Um, like And typically with easy A's, you want to look at what they've done with other units of the same type. So if we look at like STR Majin Vegeta, he orb changes. If they make this dude an orb changer, that would be pretty wild. The thing that's unique with this Majin Vegeta, he actually does his um, Mega Colossal on his 12 key, and he does his normal Colossal on his 18 key, but his Mega Colossal, or sorry, his 18 key is an AoE attack, which is really, really cool, right? What I think they're going to do to this guy because when they design really good AoE units, they make them do different things if there's one enemy or if there's more enemies. So what I think they're going to do with this Majin Vegeta is they, he might get more of an attack boost um, against a single target. But I guarantee it, and I, I would put money on this, but I think what they're going to do is when, they are, when Vegeta's facing multiple enemies, they're going to give him more key somehow. So it might be he just gets five key at start of turn. He might get one key per additional enemy. But they are I guarantee they're going to do something like that because it's very hard to get the 18 key with this guy. And I think they're going to set him up in a way where it's going to be easy to get his 18 key when you want the AoE. And they're going to make it easy to get the 12 key when you don't want it. So I don't think he'll get any additional key if there's one enemy. But if there's multiple, I think they're going to do that. So this guy's really exciting. Um, he's going to be a lot of fun to use. So I'm very excited for that easy A. Um, the next EZA we have is they are actually EZAing the two Super Trunkses, which is really good. Um, honestly, their passives are so simple, there's just no way um, to predict what they're going to do. So this guy's passive is just key plus four and attack plus 60 at start of turn. So like literally they could do anything with this guy. Now based off of the Super Vegeta and based on like Dokkan likes to kind of follow like 
what the form does in the show or they try to keep a theme going with cards. The big thing with these super forms is that the characters get a big power buff, but they kind of trickle out over time and they're like really slow. So there's kind of negative consequences to it. So um, I could see this being like Vegeta where they maybe give him guaranteed crit or they give him a high crit chance to emphasize the power part of it. But I don't think any of these super forms are going to have dodge or anything stealthy like that because they're meant to be like big, bulky, like, huge power form so it, it's really anybody's guess what they'll do with these guys but i know they're probably going to hit really hard they're going to emphasize that they will have some defense but they they may or not they may or may not be the best defensive units we'll have to wait and see on that right so we've got the physical one and then the strength super trunks is going to do it as well and you can see his passive is just attack plus 70 percent. so literally it could be anything they could um, do something completely crazy, but I think they're going to emphasize attack and crits with these guys based on what they did with the Super Vegeta. Okay, then this is what I'm excited about. Um, they're taking the five OG like Peppy Gales units or like the the waifu units when they had like the old waifu banner. Um, they're taking these five and they're going to EZA them as well. Once again, we don't have details on them. We don't even know what their leader skills are. Um, but looking at them, we can get an idea of what they're going to be, right? This Mai is definitely going to be intriguing because she's a support unit. So she's all allies key three, and then AGL type attack and defense plus 20%. So one option is, is they might take the AGL off and just make her like a 30% generic support. They could... Um, make her a future support and do future instead of AGL. They could keep the AGL on, but then maybe make her a 50% support like the other, like the AGL pan. They could do something like that. And then she does do Peppy Gale's um, crit chance up. So odds are if they're going to do anything else with category, like what they could do is they could maybe keep the AGL, but then add on another support for Peppy Gale's. Um, who knows? We are, My units have a chance to stun. Um, so they might increase the percentage chance of that, or they might leave it. Um, she maybe will raise attack, or she might lower attack and defense on super as well. They could do something like that as well. Um, I would say, depending on what they do with this, if they can find a way to get that AGL typing limitation off, then I think she could be a really viable support. But people don't really run mono teams very often. So unless you're running a team where you're, she's supporting AGL units, she might be tough to use. So we'll see what they do with that Mai. Um, then we have the Android 18. She's attack and defense per... Uh, key sphere so she's like a nuker right um because her name is 18 i have a feeling they're gonna make this attack and defense 18 percent and then they might and then they might do plus an additional um and they might take this from one percent to like if they did 18 on that that would probably be too much that'd be way too much because she'd be getting like all, over 40 percent per orb so i don't know maybe they'll do eight percent right because she's 18 so what if they did 18 percent per key and then another eight percent per peppy gals category on the team she would be like an insane nuker and if they added orb changing onto her i really like when nukers have orb changing so pretty much what i'm predicting for her is they're going to up the values of both of these percentages probably try to make one of them 18 or the number eight because of her name and then I think they're going to make her an orb changer, which would be really busted. So who knows? We'll see. Um, then we have this Videl. I'm actually really excited about this Videl because Videl is one of my favorite characters. I'm really excited for the Dokkan Fest one coming out. But it would be interesting. And she, this Videl is meant to be an attacker. Um, so I hope they make her really good. And she does heal on attack. So they could make her very, very powerful if she gets a nice attack boost. So she gets attack and defense per Peppy Gales category on the team. Um, she lowers the attack to enemies attack by 20% for two turns, which is really good for like super battle road. And then she recovers 20% of damage health as HP. So if they basically make it so she can hit 2 million plus, she's going to be insane healer, just like B pan. She could actually become a better healer than B pan. So I'm really excited for the potential of this Videl. And because she's mainly a Peppy Gals unit, that used to be an L for her because Peppy Gals never really had a good leader. But now we have Dokkan Fest Videl, and you can use this with the same name update. So she's actually be very, 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 very viable. So I'm very excited to see what they do with that Videl there. All right, so then the last two units he's seeing, we have this STR pan, which is really good because we really don't have like a good pan in the game. I think the physical pan, once she EZAs, will be really good, and I could see physical pan getting an EZA during the next GT celebration we have. Um, but this pan could be interesting as well. So um, 
She has a chance of evading plus 15% at the start of each turn up to 60%. So maybe they'll give her some starter turn evasion to help her build onto this quicker. She gets attack plus 70 and defense plus 120 for 7 turns from starter turn. I think they're going to take off this limitation because she's going to need stats all the time. But this pan definitely is meant to be a defensive unit. So they're probably going to up her defense, up her dodge chance. Um, they might make her like a mini support unit. I could see her doing something like that as well. But you can see here she raises defense by 30% for six turns, which is a really good defensive ability. They could make her an infinite stacker, but this pan is definitely going to be built as a defensive unit. So we'll see what they do with her. And then finally, we have this Bulma. And this is also really exciting because we don't have like a good Bulma youth in the game. Um, the only good Bulma youth we have is that um, the Bulma Goku LR. Um, that's like a super battle road LR. She's getting an easy A also during the celebration or, or she just got one actually before this. So she's already out. Um, but with that, she's really good. But in terms of like standalone Balmas, we don't really have a good one. So that would be exciting if this Balma ends up being really good. Um, her super attack recovers um, 8,888 HP. They could make this a percentage boost. So we'll see if they do like a percentage buff on that or if they keep it a flat number, but they'll probably up it. Um, and then she gets key plus four and then she recovers 8,888 HP per rainbow key sphere obtained. So whatever they do with this, they'll probably do the same thing here. So They'll either change it to a percentage or they'll just up the flat number. They're going to have to give her at least defense or dodge or something. Because she literally has no attack or defense in her kit at all. So, yeah, th she's pretty much like an absolute L right now. So anything they do to her is going to really improve her. So we'll see what she does. The fact that she gains per rainbow key sphere, that's actually a good sign that... They could make her a rainbow orb changer which we've seen with the gt goku and vegeta um rainbow orb changers are busted and um having access to an orb changer on peppy gals would be really really awesome so um i don't know i'm really excited about all this once again it's kind of like being a global player like it's great to have the insight and know what's coming out but it's also kind of a bummer because we get really hyped for this but it's gonna be like months until we see it so um Anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you're hyped for these uh, easy A's, which one you're the most excited for. I'm going to be honest. I'm most excited for the um, LR Majin Vegeta. But I'm also really excited for the Videl. Just because I'm a Videl fanboy. And I'm excited to see if she can actually hit really hard and heal a lot. I think she could be really useful as a unit. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. And we'll catch you on the next one.